king and queen are... Hey guys and welcome to a new Blue Round Boxing. As you can see this is for the limited edition uh, tin collection of Man of Steel which includes the 3D, 2D, Blu-ray and the DVD and Ultraviolet. Um, I've already taken off all of the uh, shop's plastic as you can see because I didn't want to waste time on the video. Um, and it is a limited edition as you can see if I stick it down here. This is limited edition number 9,984 out of 16,000. Um, so that's it. I'll just show you the back. It is an M rating. So as you can see on the back, there's a nice picture of Superman there, or Henry Cavill. Um, then you've got what, all the content up here. Then you've got some information about the ultraviolet. And just some of the important information there. I won't waste your time with all that, because um, I'm sure you guys don't really want to know. Alright, let's get this really open. So it opens from the top here, and it is a pain to get open. That's just a cover that I'm just gonna put it all back in. Very nice thing. Cool. Alright, so that's the um, cardboard there. It's still on the back. I'm just gonna put that to the side. Now, this is the actual tin here. It's actually not that big as you think. Um, what it does is it opens like this, opens up like that, it's got two hinges at the back, and then I'm just going to take my ultraviolet out quick. Um, so yeah, that's how it is, and then take this out, oh shit, it's usually not that hard to get out because I'm on such a weird angle. Alright, so let's put it at the top, so here you have the stand. I'll take that out. Then I'll just close it again because there's nothing else in there. So it comes with this, um, which is all where all the discs are held. Now, I'm just going to tilt the camera up a bit. So this is the 3D disc here, and then the picture of Superman. Then folds out to the side where it has the Blu-ray disc and a picture of whatever his name was. Then you fold it out again and it's got a middle disc of Blu-ray special features and then a corner disc of the uh, DVD film. So I'm just going to hold it up and tilt it up. See if I can zoom out for you guys. No, it's not going to let me do it. So it's like a, a ship, pretty much Star Trek ship. Okay, let's go back down to the Superman steel thing. Alright, so let's put that back in. Now, this is the stand. Now, I've actually already broken it. I actually broke off. Still be here, but I had to super glue it back on, so it's alright. So, it fits in like that. And then, I'm just going to open it up quick. Put this back in. And then what it does, is it... Slips on like that. It's um, got all magnets on the back. All down the spine, it's got some magnets. So yeah, that's... Oh, I think it's falling out. There we go. That's pretty much it. Um, for the unboxing. Um, now I know Jacksick99, who I watched, he did an unboxing of this as well. He actually showed where it went on his shelf. Uh, which I thought was kind of interesting to show you guys where he was going to put it. So I might do the same. So let's just cut over to my shelves. Now as you guys can see, this is just my um, regular DVD and Blu-ray shelf. And um, up the top there, this is where I keep most of my box sets. And you know, the occasional VHS. But um, as you can see, it's actually quite full of box sets. So um, I couldn't really fit it up there. Um, and then I've 
got my TV over here with all them shelves. That that's probably got all just books and games. They're not actually mine. They're friends uh, that I live with. But I'm up here. I got some more box sets. My Indiana Joneses, Harry Potter's, Screams. You know all of them. But that's also full. So then I got up the top some more box sets and games. Uh, they're my small stash of games. But I got the Mummy collection, the Sons of Anarchy Blu-ray collection, and then we had the Man of Steel and, you know, Aliens and Predators things. So I've decided to put it there because that's really the only spot I have left. And now you can probably see from that it's a double-sided shelf and people would just say, why wouldn't you just put it on that side? Because really, I don't really want to put box sets inside of there. They're really for Blu-rays and I'm just really trying to fill it even though I'm selling heaps and heaps I always sell off and most people don't believe me that I, I'm always constantly selling off DVDs and Blu-rays to get new ones but um that's why in some videos it'll look full and I'll have stuff all behind on the other side and then other videos half will be gone because I'm, I'm continuous selling off but you know I decided to put it up there because I like to look at it because I sit there in my chair when I'm watching a movie I can just say, hey look, there's my man is still boxed up there. You know? And I like to have it even as well, so but um that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um yeah, it was just a little unboxing of what was inside, how the stand was, what it looked like. Um I didn't I was really hesitant about buying the man of steel tin thing, because it was originally sixty dollars and then it went on sale for fifty then JB had 20% off, so it went down to 40. Um, the regular Blu-ray was, Blu was 30, and that only included the Blu-ray and Ultraviolet. Um, I was going to wait that, wait till that went down to 16.98 or 19.98, and that would have taken forever. So considering they had the 20% off, I really just decided to get that for 40 bucks. You know, it is limited edition, so may as well. I have seen the film before. You know, the visual effects were outstanding. The acting wasn't that great. Storyline was good. But, um... Oh, I really wouldn't have bought it as a good film. Really worked because I had really good special effects. But, um, yeah. So, oh, that's my tripod there. But, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.